Hey guys, day 73. Time to get the day started. And today's useless fact is... Elvis. Alright, Elvis, here we go. Elvis Aaron Presley, born January 8, 1935, was an identical twin. His brother was stillborn and given the name Jesse Guerin. Kind of sad. Following his separation from Priscilla, he lived with Linda Thompson, a songwriter and one-time Memphis beauty queen, from July 1972 until just a few months before his death. Mm. Uh. Elvis was already a star by the time he was 10. He entered a talent contest at a state fair, donned a cowboy suit, stood on a chair so he could reach the microphone, and sang a version of Red Folly's Old Chef. He won second prize, five bucks, and a free ticket to the county fair rides. In 1956, he sang the song again on his second album, and the al uh, record went gold. Nice. Very nice. Huh. Okay, let's see. On December 21, 1970, Elvis Presley paid a visit to President Richard M. Nixon at the White House in Washington, D.C. Prior to their meeting, Elvis wrote to Nixon to suggest that he be made a federal agent at large in the Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs. Despite the fact that no position existed, Nixon met with uh, Elvis with desperate hopes to improve his image and win the love of the American youth. Hmm. Speaking of Richard Nixon, of all the requests made each year to the National Archives for reproduction of photographs and documents, the most requested item is the photograph of Elvis Presley and Richard M. Nixon shaking hands. And that's it for today's Useless Facts. Alright, so it's Friday. Nothing planned for today. I don't want to go outside either. It's supposed to be getting to like 95 degrees today. Really sunny out. And humid. So humid. Oh, so I definitely do not want to go out there today. Um, I think right now the temperature is what around 80 something, and it's still a it's like 10:48 a.m. So yeah, I am not going out there. I don't care what it is I need to get done. I am not going out there. Although it's only going to be getting worse over the summer, so I don't know. Originally, I was planning on going to a renaissance fair this weekend, but because the uh, weekend forecast says, the, yeah, and I know I do not trust the uh, weather forecasts anymore, but still, better, be on the, uh, better to be on the safe side, right? Uh, anyway, the uh, weather forecast for the weekend said that the, the weather is going to be uh, reaching the mid-90s going to be absolutely horrible, horrible, sunny, hot weather. And humid. Sunny, hot, humid weather. So, that is just going to be an absolutely miserable weekend. So, I'm going to try to stay indoors as much as possible. Um, the 10-day uh, ten, uh, ten forecast, which is probably even less trustworthy, um, says that next week, next weekend, whether it's going to be like high 80s, but it'll definitely be not as humid, I suppose. So, gonna try going next weekend. Also, next weekend, I am, uh, I have more friends um, uh, who are going to be available, so, yeah. 
It's better to go to these things with friends than to go alone. Yeah, it's just not fun going alone. Do anything. Yeah, come to think of it, I have never gone to any conventions or fairs or anything like that alone. Uh, these type of events, it's just better to go with, like, friends and families, right? I mean, am I alone here? Uh, at least I, because I feel that these are the, the type of things that you share with um, uh, people, not go by yourself. So. And uh, the way I'm, uh, with all the, with the response, um, I had asked on uh, Facebook if anyone wanted to go to uh, run a uh, Renaissance Fair this Sunday. And based on all the uh, responses that I got, yeah, I would have definitely been going alone uh, if I had uh, decided to go this weekend. So, anyway. Nothing to really talk about right now, I suppose. I did um, say yesterday um, that I was going to see Brave with uh, my girlfriend, and uh, so yeah, we did. And it was a really good movie, I'd have to say. Um, I, I mean, what what can I say about this? Um, I don't know, really. It's like, uh, I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is that, uh, yeah, it's another Disney princess, but, I don't know, she just it really stands out for me. It's like, uh, um, uh, and Disney has had rebellious princesses before in the past, but here's a uh, princess that really, really went out of her way to change her fate, and, uh, Her destiny and most other Disney princesses kind of just fell into their role of a princess regardless of how rebellious they may have been they eventually fell into their role as a princess so uh, it's very uh, refreshing to see uh, a princess that actually breaks tradition Girlfriend de definitely loved it, um, and it's like a lot of her heritage is in that movie. So, yeah, she's um, mostly Scottish. So, well, her great grandmother is. So she has a lot of Scottish. Uh, um, heritage in her. I don't know, the uh, correct word just uh, escaped my mind for the moment here. So, uh, anyway. Mm. Yeah, I got nothing else for you today. Nothing. Holy <laughs> Okay, um, so the mail just came and uh, I was going to uh, get the mail. I found this. Uh, in the mail slot, right? Opened up the door, and got a package today. And I think I know who, exactly what this is, cause uh, right stuff. Oh man, I have been waiting for this. Never mind. False alarm. Thought it was um, my copy of uh, Penny and Stocking with Garbelt. And I, I was thinking, I was thinking like, damn, that was really, really quick. Couldn't be that quick, but no, it wasn't. Oh, all I got was the catalog so far. And. DVD is uh, still on its way, just not today. 
And what I got here is a coffee mug warmer, so. Yeah, never mind, false alarm. Well, guess I'm stepping out of the house today after all. Oh, I was uh, called up by a few of the uh, Steampunk Studio uh, crew members um, asking if I wanted to hang out today, so eh, why not? I mean, it's uh, later on in the day now, so the uh, temperature has already hit its peak today, and it's only going to be going down from here, so. Oh. I mean, they did actually contact me uh, earlier today. Unfortunately, the, we the uh, weather was just incredibly hot. So, I had to decline at that time. And then, uh, like about an hour ago, they contacted me again. Asking if I want to do them, uh, come up now that the uh, temperature is uh, going uh, down. Eh, why not? I mean, right now, the 94 degrees. I think uh, the temperature peaked at about 97 today. Humidity is like 80% that area. So, yeah, it's just not a pleasant day today. Whatever. Oh, let's just hope we're going to be indoors. By the way, this place that I'm going to today, it's a part of Connecticut I have never driven to. In fact, this is the farthest north in Connecticut that I will have ever driven to on my own. <sighs> this should be interesting. Hmm. Let's see, if I include uh, my destination today, then I will have covered three of, four, three of the four corners of Connecticut after today. Uh, after today, I would have covered three of four corners of Connecticut. <sighs> Alright, so here's a bit of a random question. You know those cars where the driver's seat and the passenger seat have their own separate controls so that um, uh, to make the actual seat warm up during the winter time? Um, so, just a random question. Uh, is there set, are there any cars out there where the front, the driver's seat and the passenger seat have controls for cooling the seat down, not warming it up, cooling it down? Because uh, yeah, you know, summertime after driving a while. You know, that heat kind of builds up and it starts to get really uncomfortable, even if the AC is on. Alright, well that's all then. I think that's all.